uh, what, what's happening with the crime lab? So the crime lab was decertified earlier this year. The gun unit within the crime lab was uh, disbanded. And uh, also the 911 center recently got an audit which said that they were not uh, always so reliable at, at dispatching folks to the right addresses. Are these things that still, that, that trouble you guys and that you're doing something about? Well, I'm troubled by um, the issue with with the crime lab for a lot of reasons, um, and that's a complicated discussion, probably for uh, for another setting. But but let me say this: um, this city committed to having an independent crime lab some years ago, more than ten years ago, uh, and sometimes that independence uh, doesn't sit well with all of the the partners in the criminal justice system. And so we think that the kind of back and forth that we have had, for example, United States Attorney's Office, may be uh, a recurring thing and just kind of intrinsic. Um, to having a uh, independent crime lab. So what I've asked my team to do, because uh, I don't, I don't want to kind of do this this again, um, is to make to really look at our law in D.C. and that created an independent crime lab and have an honest discussion with all of the partners. Um, if it, and, and create a system that everybody can support, um, and that's where we are with the lab. And I, I couldn't really be um, prouder of the work that we have done with our 911 call center. Uh, when I became mayor, we hadn't hired any new call takers in nine years. And our employees were among the most stressed in the in, in all of DC government. Uh, and since then, we've been able to, to pour in um, investments with new people and training uh, and work with uh, with their customers who are MPD and fire and EMS. And uh, is with any uh, agency like that, they're always looking for ways to improve their processes in coordination with our agencies.